What do we know about the concept of work? Is there just one meaning for work? Let's find out. A boy has done certain activities like washing the dishes, writing a letter to someone and brushing his teeth. Are the boy's following activities considered as work? If your answer is yes, then you are right and wrong. You are probably wondering how could you be right and wrong at the same time? Well, let's see why. You are right because the general concept of work could apply to any sort of activity that requires energy. But in the scientific perspective, it is known to be zero amount of work. So what is considered as work in the scientific perspective? Let's try out an example to understand this. An evil monster wants to destroy a city. But he doesn't go straight to the city to destroy it. Instead, he takes a huge boulder next to him, aims it at a specific direction and throws it, destroying a part of the city. Is the activity done by the monster considered as work in scientific terms? If your answer is yes, then you are right. Granted, it was a bad kind of work, but it was work nonetheless. So what were the fundamental aspects done to consider this as work? Why did I say that work's done here? There are two requirements that should be met for work to be done. One, force needs to be applied on the object. Two, the object needs to be displaced. If an object does not meet these two conditions together, then it isn't considered as work. When the monster threw the boulder at the city, he applied force on it and threw it in a specific direction and hence displaced it.